how do you accurately forecast when you've got this, in our example, $400,000 we have to cover in 2025. We know what our historicals, we think we can get them to do. And now we've got to fill the gap. Let's say we went down and we did some of the, the further down funnel stuff, like getting people to show up on sales calls and everything you covered. But now part of our plan is we bet that this one or two new channels, so we're going to get into YouTube this year, or we're going to start doing LinkedIn impression-based ads. Without having tried it yet, how can we get an accurate sense or how do you think about that? Like what putting down on paper, what you should expect out of that? Or would you not even put a number till you like could know? But how do you think about that when it comes to putting new levers that you're trying to pull for next year's plan? Yeah, that's a good one. Um, I usually, I won't commit to a number or if I do, it's very, 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 very conservative. Um, like I'll estimate one, maybe two deals, something else from it, very low volume until it's, it's proven out. Cause that's the hard part, especially when you get down to, as we said, like channel attribution, was it really that channel? Was it something else? It's hard to know, but, um, I would be conservative for the first quarter. And I would also have very strict stop, start, continue criteria with this to validate along the way. Cause this is the one thing that we marketers, like we love to be right. We love to take big swings and, and be proven that we're right. And we'll stick to things longer than we usually should to try to prove that we're right. Um, so having specific criteria for yourself or say like this needs to happen one quarter, two quarters from now, if we're not seeing this, we need to evaluate. Is it the channel itself? Is it the playbook that we're using within the channel? It's the issue. Hmm. And then reevaluate, like, do we continue this? Do we stop and go back to a channel that we know has worked well, that we aren't at the point of diminishing returns at or something else. But, um, yeah, that's a, that's a hard one. And I'd usually tee that up with the with the leadership is like that's an experiment i would keep it on the side of the funnel like what's the worst case scenario what's the best case scenario but we have to hit this goal regardless so i i don't want to include this in the funnel unless we have incremental spend incremental resources to apply mm. towards this 